uh, with you. Uh, Mitral valve prolapse and it has two varieties. One is absolutely benign, you would see in plenty of cases. But there is one uh, dangerous variety of mitral valve prolapse. We call it arrhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse. Uh, originally Barlow long back actually described this. And now we know that mitral valve prolapse can cause multiple issues. It can lead to a progressive MR, it can reduce to rupture of the cordy, infective endocarditis, thromboembolization, atrial fibrillation and sudden cardiac arrest in a rare cases. So let me dig out the reasons for the sudden cardiac arrest. Otherwise mitral valve prolapse can actually be of a secondary origin also like we have it in patients with mitral uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy rheumatic uh, heart disease also can occasionally lead to weakening of the mitral valve and produce an asd also very commonly associated with mitral valve prolapse this is the usual garden variety of mitral valve prolapse you see the anterior and the posterior mitral leaflets going beyond uh, uh, the annulus and that's what the definition of a mitral valve prolapse in case it goes more than a millimeter from there and that's why we call it a mitral valve prolapse. There is another new entity that is arrhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse and that is actually caused by mitral annular disjunction. What is this terminology of mitral annular disjunction? You notice here that you notice here this is the area now the mitral the 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 right left ventricle wall regresses and you, this fibrous tissue in between is brought out and this is called a mitral annular dysfunction disjunction i'll show you uh, how it happens now these are the areas of the ventricular myocardium and atrial myocardium and this is where the the valve mitral valve is attached and in case in the sub epicardial fat tissue you have this annulus which is a fibrous annulus which separates the attachment of the mitral valve and in case this tissue is increased this is the normal and in case of a mitral valve prolapse this tissue is increased and this increase in tissue causes mitral annular uh, disjunction. We know, I told you that this is an arrhythmogenic uh, uh, situation of a mitral valve uh, prolapse and these is the ECGs what you get in this kind of category of patients and you get a very characteristic ventricular ectopics. And these ventricular topics notice a tall R wave in V1 and it's kind of a right bundle branch uh, physiology with the, with the left axis, superior axis. And with this, this uh, indicate that this, these ectopics are actually originating from the papillary muscle. So in any arrhythmia, you need a substrate, you need a trigger and you need something modulating the arrhythmia. So let's discuss one by one. What is the, <clears throat> this is the, now in this cartoon below, you just see this portion, the fibrous tissue between the attachment of the mitral valve and the posterior wall, this gets stretched as the mitral valve goes into the left atrium during the prolapse. You notice this phenomena here the mitral valve is going into the left atrium and you see this area of separation between the ventricle wall and the annulus this separation is called annular disjunction and you see sometimes plaques here because of the fibrosis of that uh, muscle N now notice this carefully you see this is the prolapse and this is the area of disjunction and you notice the 
the lateral wall of the ventricle is actually having a plaque and a thickening in that area. This is a patient of rhythmogenic right, uh, rhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse. Now I'm going to show you here. Now this is kind of pulling. Now this is the trigger. This is the myocardial pull. Now when the mitral valve prolapse happens, the valve moves inside the right atrium. Okay, and it causes a pull of the caudate towards the left atrium while the papillary muscle pulls it towards the apex and this causes a stretch in this area leading to arrhythmias. And because of this abnormal movement of the posterior wall, when we do a tissue Doppler, we get a very large S wave. S wave more than 15 or 16 centimeter per second uh, is abnormal and this is called a pickle hobby sign. Substrate. So as I told you, there had been uh, the disjunction because of that pulling effect, there is a fibrosis of the myocardium. This fibrosis could be a mid wall, it could be patchy, subendocardial, and they have documented these kind of uh, uh, fibrosis more common in mitral valve prolapse than in non mitral valve prolapse control group and this fibrosis is another reason for arrhythmia transient modulation this is a very long uh, the, the the old study which showed that patients those who have a mitral valve prolapse tend to have increased sympathetic drive or increased non epinephrine epinephrine uh, in the system. So that means that is the modulation. So all three put together produce arrhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse. We need to differentiate uh, 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 an animal in the, in the tree because they can hide and that's what happens in mitral valve per, uh, prolapse syndromes. You need to dig out patients, those who are more likely to have a, a arrhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse. They generally are young. There's a history of a syncope or a giddiness. You get those T wave inversions in the inferior leads which I showed you. Then what you can get is a holter showing ventricular topics in even VT. Echo showing uh, uh, prolapse of the valve, Pitten-Hobbe sign, annular dysfunction and then you get increased strain in certain areas which are the basal areas again which are contracting very vigorously and you do an cardiac MR and that would show you areas of fibrosis and this is a perfect cookbook for uh, arrhythmogenic mitral valve prolapse. So guys thank you very much for watching this and I hope you would have uh, enjoyed it start looking for this mitral annular junction this junction and you see probably more cases and uh, you can actually subscribe to my channel so that whenever i post uh, any new video you would actually be notified and you can immediately look up uh, in the things so i would be keep uh, keep i'll be keeping posting uh, the number of uh, videos as the time goes thank you very much for watching bye